Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I just have a little update on my kitchen remodel. And I'm going to just show you some of the progress videos that I took up to this point. And up to this point, I have um, all the paint for the most part done on the doors and on the outer part of the cabinet. I decided not to do the inside of the cabinet, um, just to leave it as the, the wood look on the inside. And um, whenever I sell the house, the new people that buy it could either install new cabinets or they could paint the inside if they want. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, I'll just show you a few clips of the progress of things that I was able to do during this um, cabinet repainting. And this is kind of the first phase. And then I'm gonna replace the countertops. And uh, these countertops, the Yucky Formica countertops, they're all old and whatnot. You may have seen those in uh, another video that I did, but I'm going to be replacing those. I bought the quartz yesterday and the guys are coming today to make templates for the tops. And uh, you might hear the cat in the background being noisy, but uh, anyway, and so that's going to be pretty awesome. And then other things I want to do on the inside here is on the top. I'm going to do some can uh, lights. I have those bots. Um, I may or may not put those in myself and uh, that's uh, pretty much in I don't know if I'm gonna buy a new oven I might just keep this white oven um, just because I might just save that money and put it into a new house um, who knows I might I might get a an oven that's um, you know kind of the stainless look but uh, to match like my fridge and my um, dishwasher but anyway and then in here, I'm going to get a new table, get new blinds, and uh, I might get rid of the chandelier and, and replace that with can lights all in here just to lighten up this space. But um, yeah, so it's gonna be pretty awesome. So here are a couple update videos of the progress so far. Here I am beginning my kitchen remodel. Some of it I am gonna do myself. I'm gonna do the cabinets myself. And uh, yeah, so I'm getting started and it's crazy. This is the cleanest the kitchen has been in for a long time, probably since I moved in back in 2006. And now I'm in the process of uh, clearing everything out of the cabinets. And then I'm gonna remove all the hardware and the doors and start sanding. This is gonna be a big project. Uh, but I'm going to save a little money doing it myself. Pretty awesome. And this is what the kitchen looks like from this angle. Very old, outdated, mid-1980s style, which was very popular back then. See on the cabinets, I have them labeled with numbers so I remember. <laughs> and this is what it looks like from this angle. And now I have all of the doors off. You can see how nasty some of these are on like the bottom and stuff. Um, I'm gonna need to wash these and clean them before I can sand them. And uh, pretty cool. And I'm gonna leave the guts of the water in here so I can have nice water. And I'll just cover the opening with plastic. And I'm gonna redo all the guts anyway when I get the new countertops and so I can it's just been leaking in there for a long time just kind of a hassle and plus I want all new stuff if you can see this one is really just nasty and old and anyway so I'll have all new sink and uh, faucets and uh, all new uh, stuff down there too except for the water filtration that's brand new and I'm just using this Simple Green all-purpose cleaner. Um, instead of like a TSP cleaner, I just want to use this non-toxic one. 
and uh, I'm just gonna spray it on there and leave it on there for about a minute and then just wipe it off and that will be fine. That'll be good enough before I sand. And for any nasty bits like this leftover tape or glue from from the little um, stoppers, um, it's like a little sticker that helps to prevent when you when you close the the door or the cabinet door. It doesn't like slam against the side, um, so we just use a little knife and just scrape that off. It's kind of hard to do when I'm holding <laughs> the camera in one hand and scraping with the other. But anyway, you get the idea. Another thing you can use if you have any like leftover grease, it's hard to come off. Just use like a little um, pad like this. Um, it's like a just normal kitchen pad and then just, you can scrape it really nicely and it's not gonna damage the wood or anything. And also, you know, scuffs it up a little bit. Still need to sand it, but it's a good way to prep the wood. Okay, so I blocked off this part of the house with plastic. I'm gonna be actually sanding in here and I just don't want dust to fly inside that part of the house. And I have that down there covered in plastic. And um, I have my oven covered in plastic. I don't have any room to move this completely out of the way, so I'll just move it around as needed. And uh, there we go, the doors are all washed. Now I can just start sanding everything. Okay, and uh, <laughs> It gave me a good opportunity to clean behind here. This was a such really gross mess <laughs> back here where the oven was. It hasn't been cleaned probably for, I don't know, 20 years or more. And now I am sanding. You can see right there I used some wood filler. There was a gouge in that door. So I filled it with some wood filler and now I just need to sand it. And I'm just gonna take out take off this number temporarily and then I'm going to sand this side and I just have this pad sander pad sander right there and then I'm going to sand it <laughs> and then you don't have to sand it a ton you just need to be able to scuff the top of it just so it's gonna well the paint will um, the primer will grip it and you notice I have some wood filler I filled in a little gouge mark and then once that dries you can just sand right over it and you just do it till it's nice and smooth pretty awesome and then what I like to do is you can see that big pile of dust up there is I just brush off this dust towards that corner and I want to try to get as much dust off as possible before you paint. And I'll go back over it with my vacuum cleaner. Now I'm going to do the other side. And then when I am done brushing it, I'm going to take a damp cloth. This is like, this is a shop paper towel. And I just got it damp and then I'm going to just go over it and try to pick up some more of that dust and then I can vacuum any leftovers and then it'll be ready to be primered. Okay and then I am just using this bond coat primer and I'm going to prime the cabinets now with it. Day, second full day of the kitchen remodel. I have most of the primer is done. Um, I do have to finish doing the primer on the doors. This is a lot of work. <laughs> I should have just paid someone to do this. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. 
still gotta do those doors. But it'll be an accomplishment once it's done. Now I'm gonna do primer on all of the doors. I have one side done on four of them. And I'm using my countertop station here. Um, I don't care, like these, I don't care if that drips under the counter because I'm getting new countertops, which is gonna be awesome. All these doors, <laughs> so many doors. And I'm gonna need to open up the doors and windows just so <laughs> um, the air can circulate. All right, one side of primer is done. It's taking forever to do this project. <laughs> Note to self, never do this again, just pay someone. And this morning I am sanding these doors with the primer on them, both sides, and then I can paint them and I should be able to get both two coats of paint on today and then tomorrow I should be able to put the doors up or maybe late tonight, awesome. And I'm just using a fine grit sand block. And if my arms get tired, I'll switch over to the pad sander to see I just don't want it to take too much of the primer off, which can happen sometimes if you use a pad sander or electric sander or radial sander, but it's definitely an option to use that. Cool. And then this is David. He's over here from Slurcino Tile and he's making the templates for the quartz countertops. This is awesome. Pretty soon my kitchen's gonna be really nice. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed those videos of me just kind of walking through up to this point and uh, stay tuned for more update videos. The next update video might be the complete kitchen. Who knows? <laughs> I'm Matt Taylor. This is In the Kitchen with Matt. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Until next time, take care.